Important update today, Thursday, 20th October 2022, the CDC added the COVID vaccine to the childhood immunization schedule by 15 to 0. Wow, what a shame. So we'll listen what Tucker Carlson and his guests has had to say uh, to about it two days ago. Here's an amazing story that's been effectively buried. This week, the CDC's Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices is expected to add the COVID-19 vax to the list of required childhood vaccines. If this happens, your children will not be able to attend school without taking the COVID shot. Now, the problem is there is no medical basis for this decision whatsoever. Even the CEO of Moderna has just admitted that most people do not need the booster. And in fact, in this country, it's like 4% of adults have gotten the booster because they know now. We're quoting, it's going to be similar to the flu, he said. So what is this exactly? Dr. Marty McCary is a man we trust. He's a professor at Johns Hopkins University. He joins us tonight to assess. Doctor, thanks so much for coming on. Is it an overstatement to say there's really no medical justification for this? Well, there's certainly no clinical data. They've got data from eight mice on the Omicron vaccine in young people. And the child vaccine story is essentially a story of bypassing clinical data, which is why many of us are asking, why even have an FDA? Why do we even right. do clinical trials? Right now, we've got pharma saying, hey, we did a study. We're going to give you the top line of the press release. We're going to call the White House. And the White House then calls the FDA and the CDC and tells them to get in line. They bought 170 million doses of this new Omicron vaccine. There has never been a vaccine added to the child immunization schedule without solid clinical evidence that it reduces disease significantly in the community. The COVID vaccine in children will be the first. It will be added with no clinical data. And many of us that are saying, hey, let's see the data, we're basically told, stop asking questions. Dr. Ja, who's the chief COVID advisor at the White House, has said he has seen the data, but it's not public information. What are they hiding? Why can't we see this information? Instead, we're basically seeing this intense paternalism to really just do what we say and stop asking questions. And the CDC's committee that's voting, I mean, that is essentially a kangaroo court. You have to be an official card-carrying vaccine fanatic to be on that committee. If you're not, then basically they're not gonna accept people who think, that some vaccines are important and others lack the evidence to support broad distribution. Remember, one in 5,000 vaccine doses results in a severe adverse event, according to data from overseas, from Germany, because we don't fund that research in the U.S. And in Israel, they took 283 people who got myocarditis from the vaccine. One of them died, two were in the ICU. So if thousands of people are gonna get myocarditis from this indiscriminate vaccination in young, healthy people, we're gonna see some unintended harm. And my concern is that some schools may blindly accept this. So if the CDC decides to go ahead and put this on the routine vaccine schedule, it'll be up to states. And that's where I think parents have a right to say, let's see some clinical data before we force this as a requirement for school. Well, yeah, I mean, this is like, you're so understated in your effect, but what you're saying is shocking, I think, to the layman anyway. So I appreciate your, your saying it. I'm sure you're taking a lot of heat for it, but we're grateful. Dr. Marty McCary of Johns Hopkins, thanks. And the CDC answered this interview. They didn't like what they heard. Uh, they said, well, it wasn't them who were responsible, you know, for the COVID mandates on the child on the children, it was the states. Well, we'll listen up uh, again, the answer of Tucker, uh, a good answer. Yeah, he doesn't, he didn't back up. Congrats, uh, Tucker. So we'll see. I want to bring you now an update that we think is important on a story we told you about last night. The CDC Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices was on the verge of adding the COVID vaccine to the childhood immunization schedule. That vote is scheduled for tomorrow. Now, as we said, if that vote passes, children will be forced to take the shot, the shot they do not need, no scientific basis for acquiring it, and the shot that could hurt them. They have to take that shot in order to be educated in the United States in a public school. Well, in response to our segment, 
The CDC complained on Twitter. They claimed that states and not the CDC established vaccine requirements for school children. But like so much else that we have heard from the CDC, and it pains us to say this, but it's true. Like so much else they have told us over the last two years, they're lying. And they know they're lying. More than a dozen states follow the CDC's immunization schedule to set vaccination requirements, not suggestions, requirements for children to be educated. For example, the Virginia Department of Health states that, quote, vaccines must be administered in accordance with the CDC's schedule. The state of Massachusetts says, quote, no student shall attend a preschool, elementary school, or secondary school program without a certific certificate of immunization documenting that a child has been successfully immunized in accordance with a schedule that was, quote, developed in accordance with the recommendations of the CDC's advisory panel. Tennessee says its immunization requirement, quote, follow the current schedule from the CDC. New Jersey, Vermont, Ohio say virtually the same thing. We could go on. The point is the CDC sets the standard and then it becomes required across the country. And of course they know that. Of course they know that. If they know anything, they know that. So we called the CDC and asked a simple question. Do you deny that once the COVID vaccine is added to the childhood immunization schedule, many schools and states will require it based on your recommendation. And of course they know that's true. We caught them lying, so they didn't even bother to respond to us because apparently not American citizens and don't deserve a response. Does not enhance your faith at all. Thank you, Tucker, to say, to say, to, to, for saying that and to fight for real uh, real issues that many people face, not just in the United States, but in Canada, in Europe, and more, more and more people are rising right now about this globalist agenda. Thank you.